Welcome everyone to the C-Sharp WPF tutorial series. Before we jump into the series, we need to answer a few questions that are really important in you making your decision to learn WPF. This video is going to cover what is WPF, and the next video will cover when and why you might want to use WPF. So WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation, and Microsoft created this as a UI framework to help developers build Windows desktop applications. Not Android, not Mac OS, not web, but Windows desktop. So think an application like Visual Studio. If you watched my beginner's C-sharp tutorial series, you'll be very familiar with a terminal or console user interface, and it can do some really cool things, but adding a UI framework can take you into the next level. With WPF, you get very easy access to a lot of common controls like text boxes and buttons, but you also get very powerful things like animations and the ability to create custom controls. WPF is built into .NET, which means it works right out of the box with Visual Studio, and it's also compatible with almost all of the .NET c -sharp code you might have written. The real difference is instead of calling the console to interact with the user, we're going to use Extensible Application Markup Language, or XAML, to create an interface that the user can interact with. So instead of calling the console class from our code to display Hello World, we would use a UI element in a XAML file to display it. If you're familiar with XML or HTML, XAML is very similar. But even if you're not familiar, it's pretty easy to learn because it's so structured. So that's a little bit about what WPF is all about, but I hope you stick around for the next video and learn when and why you might want to use WPF. So thank you for watching everybody. I do appreciate you. Happy coding and until next time as always, take care.